Skin tones can be really daunting, especially if you're using supplies that you haven't necessarily used before. In this new series of skin tone videos, we're going to be using Spectrum Noir products and I'm going to be showing you across the whole range how you can create realistic and stylized skin tones for any project you have in mind. Okay guys, welcome back to today's tutorial. If you watched the previous one, you are well aware of how we achieved our skin tones uh, with the aqua markers. And today we're going to be going through the aqua tint pens. Now, as I've mentioned in the previous video, these are no hard and fast rules. They might not be the tones that you are happy with. You might prefer something else. These are just tones that I have worked with in the past when doing my work and they've worked for me very well. So we've already gone through part one. Hopefully you saw the video come up and you've watched that to get a bit of, a bit of an idea. As I said in the previous video, the colour police, the pencil police, the art police are not going to come find you if you decide you don't like these and you don't want to do these. These are just my tones that I've had a go at in the past and I have found that they've worked really, really well. And I wanted to pass this information on to you because it's always good to share. So why not? So last one was done via the aqua markers and today we're going to do it via the aqua tint pens. I will pop in a bit of an information card of where this video is and I will also pop in the comments all the previous videos depending on when you're watching me right now. So the aqua tint pens. When the aqua tints originally came out they come out in these beautiful little pots which I still have and I absolutely adore but then they brought them out in pen form which was just magical magical ones of color and I absolutely adore them. So for today's tutorial the colors that we're going to be using are smoked quartz, we're going to be using cosmos, we are going to be using rose quartz, olive jade, and pink champagne. Now what you have to remember first of all is these pens will not give you the same finish as an alcohol marker or a pencil. They are a different medium, they are a watercolour medium, they react very differently, they dry very differently. So if you are expecting something a lot more smoother, for example here where we've got our skin tones in alcohol markers, skip to the next video if that's the sort of thing you prefer. But today we're going to be doing the Aquatint pens, which I say will dry quite differently. So please bear that in mind as and when you come to do yours. So we're going to work again from our dark to our pink to our olive yellow. And we are going to just work through those now. So the smoked quartz and the pink champagne is what's going to help us get to the dark skin. You don't need a lot of colour down at all because we're going to draw that colour out. So just pop a little bit in to begin with because we can always add later on. So if you're thinking about this as a face, this would be your shadow area, this would be your mid-tone and you would leave your highlights completely clean. Let's zoom you in slightly. And you're just going to draw that colour out. clean your brush. You can work from your light to your dark, it's entirely up to you. People have their methods of doing it, there's, there's no hard and fast rule to be perfectly honest. So we can add a little bit more of the pink champagne. The sun keeps going in and out at the moment so my lighting is just going up and down so apologies should the lighting start going a little bit strange. So again, if you want to get darker, it really depends on how you want your subject matter to look. I can give you these colours, but at the end of the day, it's down to looking at your reference or your stamp or whatever you're using to be able to put them in the right place. 
I don't have any stamps really that I can show you on so and that's why we're doing these little spheres but it gives you an idea of where you can get your highlights and your midtones from so I'm just going to add a little bit more colour in here again you can add more colour as it dries and you can also in the previous video just get a, a wet as long as it's clean or a dry brush and you can just pull out some of those highlights if needed so again for those two we used the pink champagne oops spell it properly and our smoked quartz I've tried to limit the amount of tools that you need because not everybody is going to have every single color in the range so that's what I've tried to do I've tried to limit the colors so you don't have to get loads even if you're looking at doing skin tones in the future I wanted to try and keep it with a limited amount while it's drying I'm just going to add a little bit more tone in that mid-tone section there you go okay so for the next one which is our pinky olivey it's like um it, let's just do the pink actually we'll do the olive last let's do the pink to coincide <clears throat> so we're going to use our cosmos and then we've also got a little bit of our rose quartz and the rose quartz just adds a little hint of extra pink to it so we're going to draw it up into our highlight area just blend out our mid-tone and then again what you can do if you want to get some shadow in there and you will only need a tiny amount you can use depending on your final look you're after you can actually use a purple tint or a blue tint uh, you would use the brown if you want it warm you would use the purple if you wanted it warm and you would use the blue if you want it cold so I'm just gonna put a little arrow here just to say that it is for the shadow only and that is the smoked quartz then for the rest of the skin tone we have the rose quartz and then we also have the cosmos and it's a really beautiful subtle pink tone which actually works very very well for most subjects actually now we're going to be looking at a slightly yellower tone more on the olive side of things and for this we need our champagne pink champagne we need our rose quartz and we need our cosmos so well all of them pretty much in fact i'm going to for today leave the cosmos os and os <laughs> off and keep it as more of a yellow tone I'm reading off the wrong sheet that's why it's olive I want so again you don't want a huge amount so don't put lots of olive down and again a tiny amount for the shadow and again we pull out into our highlight so our mid-tone stays where it is we just pull out and we just grab a bit of that olive just to change the tone of the skin And then we can come back we can then add a bit more of the tone in as i say the olives are very very good for tanned skin if you want tanned skin but if you imagine this skin tone on a portrait you could see how well that would actually work now human skin tends to have a very blue undertone in its thinnest areas anyway and that is down to our veins so 
don't be afraid to add any blue tones underneath where some of the shadows might fall so smoked quartz again for our shadow pink champagne olive and rose quartz which I'm going to put a question mark because that is up to you it really depends on the type of tone as I say you can have a pinky undertone which is what we have here you can have a yellow undertone you can even have a blue undertone so have an experiment but these are generally the basic colors that you would look at applying in fact once zoomed out that looks very very natural so you can see how well that can work on skin tone hopefully that's been helpful to you so that was the aqua tint pens and again the next video we're going to focus on the aqua blend pencils so don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit the bell button to be notified of all so next time when i upload because there'll be a whole series of these for each of the tools that we have available make sure not to miss them and i also go live every wednesday so it's worth coming and catching me because sometimes i'll use the spectrum products other times i'll do realism depends how the mood fares so i shall see you on the next video